actually just love your performance in this movie. And every scene you had, there was so many different emotional tones. Talk to me about that process and an actor and how you broke down that character. Mm, yeah, I um, I think it was a, an amazing challenge getting a character like Rowan um, because he is so multifaceted. I mean, he kind of, um, I won't talk too much about his journey because, you know, spoilers. Um, but but definitely in, in the beginning of the film, um, he is he's a very reserved, shy 16-year-old who's struggling with with things. A lot of 16-year-olds have to deal with, you know, he's uh, he has a crush on a boy he can't talk to. He's scared to sort of let himself express kind of his his you know his 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 confidence is very low um and then he discovers that he is a vampire and that kind of takes him on this journey of trying to rediscover that confidence and that sense of self um and i think as an actor getting that challenge of really seeing a character i mean that was one of the things i really felt when i read the script for the first time is rowan at the beginning and rowan at the end of the film are two I mean, obviously not completely different, but incredibly different people. I mean, he really goes through a lot. I mean, the film, I think it's three days that it, it, that the story takes place over. And he, on you know, in the space of that, you know, those sort of few hours in the grand scheme of things, he cha- his life changes forever. Um, and I think really sort of getting to focus on, I mean, physically, how does someone who's so kind of, he's got the weight of the world on his shoulders at the beginning and then trying to find a way to figure out how to show that lift and that sense of purpose he gets as well as fear of himself you know being a vampire is a scary thing there's a point where um where you know where, where i look in a mirror and there's a real sense of he's scared of himself he's really scared of himself um and i just i loved being able to play a character who has this boiling sense of 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 self fear of of also dark joy as well that finally being able to express all those things that he'd had to dig down because of his shyness. Um, and I think as well, one of, one of the things um, that Eris Lynn, the director said to me right at the beginning of filming um, is he gave me this quote where he said, Rowan has the soul of an artist that, you know, he's 16, but he really is, you know, he is one of those characters who is, there seem to be wise beyond their years and you can sense that in how he deals with the world. Mm. Um and I really hung on to that, trying to keep that while, you know, trying to trying to play a a, a boy who's a vampire and struggling with wanting yeah. to eat. So it, it was definitely a challenge, but one that I... Well, you really did a great enjoyed. job because, like you said, I felt that part of soul. And what I love about your performance, being able to draw us in so deeply, and especially the way you would put the words together, that scene where you're laying on, you know, talking about, you know, the connection of the feeling of the grass. And I felt that because I do that in this weird way. It was such a wonderful connection. So I could feel the soul of the artist. It's almost like, here's this young man in an old soul, you know, the same, you say, oh, that's an old soul that's been here before. And I think that was so wonderful that you did that. And I guess what I want to find out from you specifically when before you get into that space, what are you doing to tap into that particular moment? Because there are several moments that you go from the highs and the lows, as you said. I think for me, that feeling that in um, kind of in in that particular scene, um, I think Rowan's sense of um, this. I mean, he, he one of the things he says is that he he goes outside and he lies in the grass, like, like you were just saying, he lies in the grass and he he really kind of, he tunes into the town around him, to the people. He feels that everything is one, that that he can feel the sea, the trees, you know, the stars that, um, um, and that also that comes back in his narration as well. And I think my performance was reliant on that feeling of togetherness. It's a bit like I, I <laughs> it's maybe a strange thing to say, but I, I do, um, or at least I, I used to do Tai Chi. Um, and, uh, and in that there is a kind of the whole, the whole sort of practice of Tai Chi is, is based around, you know, the movement of energy and this kind of, this sense of flow in the body. Um, and what I really tried to get in that moment is Rowan's sort of, as if his energy is flowing into everything around him when he speaks his words into the character he's talking to um and just his real kind of that that thing about him being the soul of an artist that 
he is a very he's very painterly with his with his words and his thoughts so i think yeah just that sense of flow of warmth i think in my head i was thinking about um sort of <laughs> trying to take myself back there thinking about um just his joy at being able to voice these feelings at um at recognizing that i think that's what that's what his comfort was that's the thing that I hung on to is his you know his his serenity sentence that he we are all one and things will be fine because i understand that we're all one being you know it's that thing about beautiful it was absolutely beautiful scene and without spoiler alerts of course the moment <laughs> the moment you know where the conflict is happening and you're making such amazing hard choices yeah. You know, yeah. from, from love to fear. And oh my God, I can only just like it's getting chills. Um, that's taking you in a whole different emotional space. Yeah. So give me a little bit of an idea about how you were pulling that in because that was very difficult to do, but you brought it to the table so brilliantly. So I really okay. want to know how what that journey was for you in that particular scene, which I won't discuss what it was, but you yeah. know <laughs> <laughs> whatever it may be. Um <laughs> yeah, in that in, in that moment, I think it was uh Rowan, um, uh, how do I say this? Uh, in that moment, he is um, experiencing a huge amount of pain. Um, uh, and it, it's it's aimed at a person who he has a lot of love for, a huge amount of love for, and someone who he looks up to. And it's that feeling of betrayal from someone who you trust, who you think could never do you harm suddenly having that snapped in well in three words four words by that person is just trying to really kind of trying to get in that space where I feel like the audience can see his I mean it's heartbreak really it's you know it is it's definitely it's it's heartbreak it's it's heartbreak and grief and um in you know, in varying senses. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that was the thing that I really focused on, on fueling uh, Rowan's action yeah. uh, in that moment is just that sense of heartbreak and loss and trying to do that in a way which didn't feel, um, didn't feel uh, like it was um, not cheated, but, but sort of that you could watch and go, I've, I felt that. And it I know was real. I mean, everybody have gone through that. And I was absolutely real. And you can feel it, you know, and I wish we had more time, but we don't, but um, I do want to, <laughs> I know I have so many more questions. Um, you know, you've done quite a few things, you know, in, in your career uh, for a young actor and anything we do in life, I believe we learn things as we come away from things. What particular thing that you learn doing this particular project, what is on a personal note on, on a craft side, what did you come away with? I think personally um and and from a career career perspective actually I came away with a real sense of needing to trust myself um because I think I um it's a very acting is a very odd profession <laughs> an amazing profession but a very strange one where your job is to be incredibly i can't remember where um it was a wonderful actor who, who said this but it was um saying that you have to be able to be in you know put all your emotions out there at the same time as having a very hard skin um and i think i've really came away with a sense of needing to trust that i could be able to put everything on show and still be able to know that at the end of the day i can come away and and keep that hard skin Trust is the word. <laughs> you did an amazing job, and I am so looking forward to seeing so much more of you on screen. I just love your performance as an actor, and I'm so glad I found you because I will be following your journey at everything you do. You're just brilliant work, and I really enjoyed it, and I'm going to watch it again because oh. I thought it was great. And there's so many other things about this movie that I actually loved. So thank you again for wonderful work and um, much, much success in your future endeavors. And have a Thank blessed you. day. Incredibly kind of you. It's been a wonderful, wonderful conversation. Thank you so much. Um, wonderful chatting with you. Like I said, I wish I had more time, but next time around. All right. Hey, next time. Next time. Yeah. Next time.